Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I will be explaining multiplication of fractions. So before I get into the questions, I just want to explain what the greatest common factor is. And it's also known as the GCF. So the GCF is just the largest number that can be divided evenly into two numbers. So for example, if you have a fraction, let's say you have three over nine, and you're asked to reduce it to the lowest term, what you could do is find the factors of both numbers, being three and nine. So the factors of three, we're gonna start with that. That is one and three. And the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9 itself. Now that we have the factors, we have to find the greatest one. So 3 is here, and 3 is here, 1 is here, and 1 is here. It has to appear on both sides. So we're going to go with 3 since it's the greatest. So 3 goes into the fraction 3 here one time, and 3 goes into 9 three times. The lowest term of 3 out of 9 is 1 over 3. This is your answer. Now I'm going to go straight into explaining some questions that I have for you. When it comes to multiplying fractions, you could do it in different ways. So if you notice, every question that I will tackle will be done in a different way. So let's get to number one. So for number one, we have one out of five times seven over three. So what we're going to do is multiply across. So we're going to do it this way. Okay, so it's going to be equal to 1 times 7 all over 5 times 3. Then 1 times 7 is 7 and 5 times 3 is 15. We're going to leave it as, as this because it's in the lowest term. There's no number that could divide through evenly for both numbers. So we're just going to leave it as 7 over 15. So for number 2, we have 6 whole number, 2 over 3. Um, whole numbers can also be expressed as fractions. So for example, if you have 2 whole number, it's the same as 2 over 1. And if we have 6, it's going to be 6 over 1. So this 6 right here can be expressed as 6 over 1. So this is going to be equal to 6 over 1 times 2 over 3. So sometimes you could use the canceling out method where you cancel and reduce the terms diagonally. So that way. When you're canceling out, you can't cancel out across. You have to cancel out this way. So if you don't remember canceling, you know when you cancel something, you do like the X. So that's just that. So we're going to cancel out to reduce the terms. So we're going to do um, 6 and 3. 3 goes into itself once and goes into 6 twice. So because of that, we now have... 2 times 2 over 1 times 1. So this 2 is from the new one we have here. And this 2 is right here. 1 remains the same. And this 1 is from here. Okay. So our answer then becomes 4 over 1. And as we said before, any number out of 1 right here, is the same as the number on the top. So 4 out of 1 is the same as 4. 
So this is equal to four. So for number three, we can see that we have mixed fractions. If you haven't watched my previous video, please make sure to do that. I've explained how to change mixed fractions to improper fractions. And once you do that, this question is gonna be super easy. So when we get a question that entails mixed fractions, what we're gonna do is to change those mixed fractions into improper fractions. So we're gonna start with one and then do the other. So first we're gonna do this one. So I'm just gonna rewrite it back. It's gonna be two, three out of four. What you want to do is multiply the bottom number with the whole number. So that becomes four times two, which is eight. And then you want to add whatever you get, which is eight, to the three, to the top number. And that also becomes eight plus three, which is 11. So this answer right here is what's gonna be at the top of the fraction. So 11 and then your bottom number becomes four. You're gonna put the same number from the question here or here, any of them, back here. So it becomes 11 out of four. That means we've, um, we've changed the first one into an improper fraction, and we're gonna do the same to the second one. So the second one is one whole, two over three. We're gonna do the same thing, multiply, and then add, so it becomes three times one, which is three, and three plus two, which is five. This is all we need to put on top of the fraction, so it becomes five over the bottom number, and this is the bottom number, three. So now as you can see, we have changed both of them, and then we're going to put them back into the question. So it's now going to be 11 over four times five out of three, which is the same as 11 times five over four times three. 11 times five is 55 divided by four times three is 12. One thing you have to note is you cannot leave your answer in improper fractions. So you have to change it back into mixed fractions. So we're gonna do this here. Let me draw a line to separate it. So when you're changing improper fractions to mixed fractions, it's a regular division, like long division, so it becomes 12, the top goes into the box. 12 can go into 55. Four times, 12 times four is 48. You have a remainder of seven. So your answer is going to be four whole number, seven out of 12. So the four here is from this four, the seven here is the seven, and then the 12 is this 12. So this is your final answer. We have three out of four times five out of 11. We're gonna do this like that. Becomes three times five over four times 11. 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 11 is 44, we cannot divide this any way to make it like into a lowest form, it's already in its reduced form, so we're going to leave this as it is. And I have this question for you as usual, I want you to try it and then see if you're going to get the answer right here, the question is... 
3 whole, 1 over 3, times 2 whole, 1 over 2. Your answer is going to be 8 whole number, 1 out of 3. Let me know if you find this video helpful or you have anything you want to share with me. Please leave it in the comments below. My next video is going to be on addition of fractions.